so she comes around, she gets out her car. She, they're like, come on, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. I was like, girl, I'm not about to fight you over some nuggets. You can get out of here with that. I got out of my car, I walked up the window, and I asked what is the problem that is taking so long for us to get a taco. Okay. Were you yelling at the people in the drive-thru? Yelling? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I was asking. I need to get, all I need is the owner name or whoever owned this damn facility or the manager. Okay. We ordered something, the food was wrong, we said, can we fix it right? But the guy said, well, we ordered, I said, that's not what we ordered. You know, I try to fry the fries, or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked him, can we get some fresh, fresh fry? Why y'all doing all this? Why it cost for all these cops? Because they said you shot a gun over there. We all know the saying, the customer's always right. But nowadays, this isn't always the case. And that's especially true when a customer's entitlement is caught on body camera. We're checking out eight suspects who got arrested at fast food restaurants and were served a cold taste of the law. Welcome to After Hours, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Sam Goldberg. We begin today's episode of After Hours in Santa Ana, California, at a McDonald's where a customer walks through the employee back door in desperate need of ketchup. Surveillance footage captures the whole incident unfold, except the audio. According to the police report, a manager tells 24-year-old Myra Gallo that she'd be happy to help her if she can enter through the front of the restaurant. But Myra's looking for more than just ketchup. When Myra slams one of the employees' head onto the drink machine, a co-worker intervenes and a brawl breaks out. One of the workers manages to break free to serve the patient drive through customer. Then one of the workers enlists help from Myra's boyfriend to grab her and they make their way out of the back door together. Eventually, Myra was arrested and charged with suspicion of assault. She was sentenced to 18 days in jail, three years of informal probation, and was required to complete an anger management course. I want to thank Upside for being such a proud sponsor of After Hours. Upside's a free app that gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, food, and groceries. And this is actually real cash back. It shows up in your Upside app, and then you just transfer it straight into your bank account. Uh, the other day, I went out uh, on a date with my wife, and I used Upside cash back. I filled up my tank. Cash back. Got almost like $8. Insane. So once you have the Upside app, you claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. You pay as usual using a debit or credit card. Follow the steps on the app and you get paid. To find out how much you could earn, click the link in the description to download Upside or scan the QR code on screen and use our promo code after hours and you get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. That's promo code after hours. Now we head to Arizona, where Maricopa County officers respond to Burger King over a dispute involving chicken nuggets. Is everyone okay? We were actually oh, behind the car. Right here. We were behind the car. That Was it in the drive? Yeah. yeah. We yeah. He it. came in here. He, they just they just start acting crazy. These people. And she she's. I'm so like. It's okay. Just okay. take a deep breath. We were behind the car. Are you injured at all? He hit me in my thing with this thing right there. They threw this naked thing at me. They threw trays at me. Were they back here? No, they were no, they right here. They, they took three trays, trays off and they slung them at her. They threw drinks in the door. Okay. They had another lady back there too. We'll figure it out. We have, uh, I, I told the other people to go look for them. So we got the plate from you guys. Do uh, you want to sit down somewhere? So the responding officer arrives to find distraught employees, but not the subjects. They're hitting you in the head with that stuff? Yeah. What was he mad about? So the girl asked me for a four piece nugget. She asked for a value nugget, and I said that's the four piece nugget. She was like, why do I want to pay four dollars and something for a four piece nugget when I can get an eight piece nugget for uh, the, the thing? I said, I was just bringing up what you said, which was the value nugget. And so she was like, never mind, I'm going to come up there with my order. I get up. Whatever it is that they had, this is his cup too. Whatever it is that they had, 
and they went, they took it and threw it in. They threw sanitizer at us. They threw a whole of sanitizer at us. Give me a minute, please. And then she threw that, she threw her drink at me. I threw her drink back at her. And then, yeah, both in the drive through and in here. So she comes around, she gets out her car. She, they're like, come on, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. I was like, girl, I'm not about to fight you over some nuggets. You can get out of here with that. Take your, take your mess out of here. It was like, come on, let's fight, let's do this, let's do this. Next thing you know, some man came in here in a whole different car. And they just all just start. Throwing stuff at me, throwing this at me. Three people total. Three people total. Two yeah. black girls and a black guy. They were just mad because you said it was a four piece. Yes, they got that angry over a four piece nugget. Like I thought it was over with. They was like, when she asked me to come to the window, I didn't realize it was for me to be a drink thrown in my face. Whatever it is that they threw in my face. Did they say anything while they were in your trash in the place? Yeah, they were trying to get me to come out here and fight. Witnesses speak to officers about what they remember about the encounter. I you, you guys were in the drive-thru when this happened? Yeah, yeah, we were right. We were, yeah, we were parked behind us. Okay. Yeah, so basically what I saw happen, um, when they pulled it, they pulled up, and then they like took around the corner, backed up, pulled forward, backed up, pulled forward, got off weird. Then they got up to the window. We were looking down, and we looked up and watched them throw a drink at the window. Yeah. Did then they closed it? Or which I car? think they threw it first. It was the driver. Yeah. Which car was it? It was the, the Kia. Kia. Silver Kia. Oh, I know. Our Kia. Kia. So they threw something in the window, they closed the window, and they threw something else and slacked off the window and back on the bed. And then I heard them pull around. I thought they left. Yeah, we thought they left. And then and then I heard yelling. yelling from the side. Yeah, because we were up at the window, we paid, um, and then we heard yelling. You guys were in the drive-thru when you heard the yeah. yelling? Yeah. Okay. And then they came back and told us that they come inside and started throwing stuff. Yeah, well, that's what he asked so me. What, the employee told you? Yeah, that's what they told me. Yeah. Okay. Well, well that's what he was sitting there, and then he, he told me, he was like, well, they come back inside, and I said, they're listening for a minute. You can hear them slam and stuff around you. Yeah. Um, did you guys come in here and see any damn stuff that happened while they were here? No, we came in here right now. Can I see your hand? Where'd they hit you? Right there? That red line? Yep. I'm gonna fix your hand, okay? What got thrown at you? Something from back here? It was, do you, do you know the glass box of cookies that we usually have here? Uh, oh, yeah. They threw that at me. The display one? Yeah, and it broke on my hand. Wow. That's glass, you said? Yeah. Okay. Which one threw it at you, do you remember? It was the guy. <laughs> yeah. Did he... When he threw it, did he say anything to you? No, it's like, when I, it came over here, he just, I, I didn't know where he came from. He wasn't with them when I, when I was out there talking to them about the whole situation. I come in here because I was, I, was I was out there getting their license plate, and they were talking to me about how they should like, get the manager out here cause, and make her clock out so we're going to kick her you know, we're going to fight her. Right? They said that to you? Yeah. And they tell like there's there's no reason why there's that she should be talking to us like that. Even though they asked for four piece, eight piece, and another four piece of value. Uh, so when you guys get the orders over the intercom, everyone's able to hear what's being said, right? Yeah, everyone who has the headsets on will be able to hear. So what, did you hear what was said between them? Yes. Uh, now the manager was just said that. Well, you ordered the four piece, but since you're saying the eight piece, we'll do that for you. And I guess they took that as disrespect. And before we ever get their other orders, they just drove in. And then since we were busy, the line was slow. And they also got aggravated because of that. They, and then they pull up, and I see the I see the shift, I see the store manager go up, talk to them, and then I look I go this way and I look back and there's. The, but there's a cup being thrown at her. Okay, I'm working on it. And I don't know what the so I don't know what it is. I think it might have been sud or some type of liquid. But it was all it's all over that window. Okay. And then they pull up here. I don't know. 
I couldn't see. Did you see who threw this one? That one? Okay. The yellow one? It was like a Dickie's Cup. I it was it was either one of the, it was either one of those women okay. that threw that. But the guy was mainly the one who threw the sanitizer through the glass box, through the trays. Okay, and then I'm still waiting for photos for him, so we'll figure out what he looks like. Uh, he's a tall, tall black dude. He had a gray sh he had a gray shirt, he had a, a black, like, uh, a cooking wear, and he also had a hat on. Like a baseball hat? No, it was like one of these, where it was like, it was a visor? Like a work, yeah, it was like a visor. You said cooking wear? Like, it, yeah, like, it looks like he just came out of cooking something. Like from Dickies? Probably. <laughs> I also want to thank Morgan and Morgan for being such a proud sponsor of After Hours. Every single week with After Hours, the people on these body cams, it proves just how scary and unpredictable the world can be, especially when you're out driving. And one of the scariest things that can happen to you is if you get into an accident. But it's important to realize if you've been in an accident, your case, it could actually be worth millions. And that's where Morgan & Morgan comes in. They have an army of over a thousand attorneys. And these attorneys are going to fight for what you deserve. And they have the track record to prove it. In the past few months, Morgan & Morgan won verdicts like $12 million in Florida, $26 million in Philadelphia, and $6.8 million in New York. All of these, by the way, way higher than the highest insurance offer. Even if your case isn't worth millions, why not start a claim and try to get the money that you deserve? Seeing if you have a case, all it takes, eight clicks or less, and their fee is absolutely free unless you win, they're only getting paid if you're getting paid. So if you're injured, you can easily start a claim at forthepeople.com slash after hours or click the link in the description and pinned in the comments. Police discover it was a family affair when they pull over 29-year-old Brianna Ross and her mom, 44-year-old Cherie Ross. <laughs> Hi. My mom around. was trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to, I just saw you sitting there and I want to turn around because I was actually getting ready to call the police. Um, so the it, incident at, at Burger yes, King? Yes, and yeah. I want to tell you, like, I just left the grocery store. I got groceries in my okay. car. Can I, I mean, come on the other side okay, and I'll talk to you on that fine. side. So I left the grocery store. I stopped at Burger King to get my kids some nuggets. Uh -huh. So I'm in the drive thru and I asked for. Nuggets. The lady on the intercom with the attitude, that's not what you said. You said that so they left us sitting in the drive thru forever. So I'm like, I got to the window, I was like, just cancel my order. I don't want it no more because you rule, you in customer service, you don't talk to people like that. Mm -hmm. And see, look, I don't got time for this. She threw a whole, you see all this pop all over my car. She threw pop inside of my car, wet my daughter up, wet my young kids in the back seat. So I got upset and I was like, no, you're not going to do that. So I pulled into the front. The young guy came out saying he the manager. I was like, so you let your workers do stuff like this, just throw pop and expect nobody not to do nothing back? I was like, no, that's not how it works. I was like, I'm calling the police. I said, I'm reporting y'all. I was like, and I'll mess around and beat this lady's ass. I'm not going to lie. I did say that. And so he was like, she didn't do anything. I said, how she didn't do nothing? And you see all this pop on my car. Mm -hmm. So I go in there and she, um, I, all right, I got something for you. I said, I got something for you too. I was like, come from around the corner, around the counter or whatever. So I'm like, she never came from around the counter just talking mess. Another customer seen her do something and like, I think threw some water or some crap on her, but she crazy. Like that lady is crazy and I'm trying to, yeah, my son is like throwing up. So I'm trying to get him, we just want to get him a Sprite and something to eat. Uh -huh. And so I'm sitting up here trying to call corporate like 99 times and they not even answering so I can report this location, but I don't appreciate that crap. And she, well, I'm calling the police, call them, because when I get to home, I'm calling them too. And that's what made me turn around, because I saw you sitting there. Uh -huh. So, but I don't know. Like, I just, something got to be done. That's not fair. Like, that's just not right to me. Okay. You guys got your IDs on you? I, I said, my husband came up there, out, but he came up there, and he saw the dude taking pictures of the car, and my kids was crying. And he came in there and told us to leave, basically. He was like, y'all get the up out the store and just leave. I didn't say nothing because I didn't want him to get in trouble because he did leave his job without nobody else being at work. Okay. But he talking? said that he told his boss that he left. What was your daughter told? Just yelling, basically. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> just yelling. What was your daughter 
what made you guys go inside? Because she threw the pop. Like, she threw it, and it went all on my kids, and I got mad. Like, really, that's the only reason I even went in there. I'm like, that was just unacceptable to me. And then I went in there to really file a complaint with the manager, but then they just automatically was rude. And it just, like, I got triggered. I'm not going to even lie. Like, I feel bad, but it was just like, you don't do that to people. Did you throw the nuggets at the person I didn't first? even get food. I didn't yeah. get anything. I told them, no. I said, I don't want my order. I don't want nothing. So they just threw a And she threw, you? yeah, she threw a big, like, big. Saying on video, like you throw something at them first. I did throw some water. You do some water. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Do. I don't know why they throw. It didn't hit her though. It did oh, not hit her. Yeah, it didn't hit nobody. Okay. Well, where's your husband at? He's at work. Where's he work? At Dickies. He's the manager oh, over at Dickies. Those are all your kids. Yep. Yeah. But she's an adult. Yeah, she's an adult. She's a nurse. She's um 29. Does she able to drive the kids home? Yeah. Okay. Nice and cooperative. Officers arrest the mother but release the daughter to tend to the other children. Then officers make their way over to Dickies to speak with the father, 43 year old Tavarius Ross. This him right here? Yeah. How you doing, sir? Do you mind coming out here, please? Meet Tavares? Yes, sir. Okay, do you know why we're over here today? About what my wife got arrested. Yeah. About the lady through the pump on and stuff. Yeah. And the little kids. Yeah, so what, you know what happened? Yeah, told, I'm on the phone. My daughter just told me about it. Okay. Were you involved at all? You got no way. I'm huh? I got uh, a call, crowd of call, y'all. My son got to throwing up and shit. I did go, I'm not going to lie to you. My son was throwing up. Why you call me, my daughter was in the back seat. Wet as hell. Pop all over the car, bro. Okay. I'm on the phone. I'm a supervisor. I'm on the phone. I'm listening to everything. I'm telling them, like, chill, chill out. I even talked to the to the lady, the black lady. She was swell. She was the supervisor. She wasn't the supervisor. Okay. I said I talked to the other supervisor over there. Know me. So how did this escalate from drive-through order? They were sitting up, you could, and it was two two women out there, two older women. Okay. They seen the whole thing. How the story get trashed? I ain't gonna even lie. I threw, I, they threw something at my wife. I threw something. You should have seen my son. I don't know. If, I don't know which one of y'all was there. Man, my son was in the his whole face was red throwing up, bro. Okay. They threw a whole. I don't know what that was. She threw in his face. He was in the back seat. He, he's four. I apologize for cussing and throwing up. Okay. He's four years old, bro. Okay. My daughter's only twelve. She didn't have no reason to cuss my cuss my wife out. I don't care what was going on. My wife was wrong and she was wrong. They had no point to afford to even escalate as far as it did. But she didn't have no reason for she sent the girl to the window. It should have been dead from there, I thought. So the girl right oh my fault, my fault. So the girl, I ain't I'm not I'm not on that man. So the girl sit up right here. She sits up, comes from behind the girl, and throw a whole extra large cup of in her face. Not my wife. She threw it in my daughter, that was my daughter drive. That was my baby in the back seat, four years old, he's seizure prone. Okay. So no one threw something, no one threw anything out of your guy's car first? No, I swear to God, no, go look at the camera. I swear Which to God. Which car were you in? Huh? Which car were you in? Which car was I in? Yeah. What you mean? What, what car were you cars? driving? Huh? What car, you were in a car, right? I was in a truck. Which car? What kind of truck were you in? Oh, a black truck. Is it a bourbon or a truck? It's a truck. What you mean? Like I don't Ford understand. Ford F-150 or what is it? No, it's a suburban. Okay. What you mean? Uh, so, someone throws water on you. No, it wasn't no water. It was popped. It stuck all okay, in the top. I don't even know what it was. I'm just assuming. How do we get to the point where someone's having a glass cookie thing shattered on them? Nobody had no glass cookie thing shattered on them, bro. Did y'all look at the cameras? Ain't nobody throw no glass cookie thing shattered on nobody. How'd all the stuff on the counters end up on the I pushed it on the floor. I'm not going to lie to you. I pushed it on the floor. I swear to God I did. I didn't throw nothing at nobody. I didn't throw nothing at nobody. You can go look at the cameras. If I'm, I'm telling you to look at the camera. I didn't throw nothing on nobody. Okay. All I'm saying, I'm a man, man. I think you came by my, you pulled me over the other day. Like, because of, cause of my plate thing. Because I had the paper plates up. That's not me. Oh, my it's all right. I, no, I don't. 
But bro, what I supposed to do? Cause neither one of y'all do the same thing. Y'all got four years old. She didn't have no reason to do what she did. As a worker for a company to come behind, if you sent somebody else to handle the situation, why would you come from behind your worker to throw a hole? I don't know what it was. I'm, I'm not assuming it was. Why lit. didn't you call us? I, I did. I did. So I'm not saying what the other person did was wrong or what was right. Okay, but I talked to your wife. She told me she threw water at her first. I didn't know that. Okay. Huh? What you be talking? Wait a minute. Who? Your wife threw water at the lady first. No, she didn't. That's what she told me. Why would I lie to you? I'm not lying to you. Your wife is very nice. I ain't disrespect you. I'm not. I'm no, I'm not, not saying that. No, but no, she no, did. No, so no. she's like, I did. I was upset. I threw. I threw water at her, and then she threw the soda, and it hit your kids. That's what she was telling us. So that's kind of how it started. She said she was upset. So if you didn't see that, that's fine. It's not a big deal. You telling me my wife threw something first? Yes, sir. I'm, and I'm, being, I'm not. I'm not being. I'm not lying to you, sir. I'm being straight yeah, up I, and down with you. I appreciate you. No, that's what she told me. Yes. He's shooting you straight. I have no reason to lie to you, man. Yeah. Your wife is very nice, dude. No, I ain't just... So. I, 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 I thought you might Appreciate you being cool, dude. Y'all gonna lock the stove up at least? Yeah, we can you figure it out. You got a key on you? Yeah, we can do that. We can lock it up. Don't we don't got no more meat, bro. No more meat. We sold out. It's close right now. Both parents were arrested for criminal damage and disorderly conduct. Tavarius picked up an additional charge of aggravated assault using a dangerous instrument for throwing the glass cookie case. Their daughter, Brianna, was released with a criminal citation. Both accepted a plea deal in court. While Cherie was able to avoid jail time, Tavarius served for his disorderly conduct charge. I don't want we don't got no more meat, bro. No more meat. You sold out. Sold out the meat. You got it real up. I got the order. Huh? You said you picked up the water. Yeah. What was it? The restaurant is closed? It's closed, yeah. It's closed. It's closed? Yep, no it's closed. Meat. No more. They're all out of meat. Now let's watch how this scene unfolds one late night at a Taco Bell in Santa Rosa, Florida. Um, so this lady comes around my car. This lady? No, no, no. Okay. This is my daughter. Okay, okay. I'm the one no, who... But so she where, comes where is this lady at? She's somewhere in the line right there. Okay. And but, like those two cars right there, like they saw everything. So what she did? So she, so the first thing she came around my car. She's got a glass of wine and she's screaming and yelling, getting in the face of the girl at the drive-through. And I was like, "We need to calm down." She's like, "You're in here." Which which car is it? I, I'm not sure. I don't even. I don't know if she's driving or not. I didn't want to go back there and worsen the situation. What is she wearing? She's uh, a turquoise shirt. Yeah, you want yeah. you want to walk towards these cars? I just want to walk back there by myself. No, you're fine. Because I don't want to worsen it. And she pushed me and I pushed her back to like, in in the driveway right or here, right okay. in the van, which I don't ever do, and I don't condone that. And I, I got you. But I don't know if she's driving. She you know what kind of car she's driving? No, I don't know because we don't even know where she came from. The one behind it. Which car? This one right here. This one? Yes, sir. With the help of the victim, officers identify the suspect's vehicle. Step out. Yeah, Hey. Go ahead and step out for me. Sure. You're not in trouble. We got to figure out what's going on. So, go ahead and step over here. No, I just asked the people what's taking so long. It's taking a long time. Okay. That's it. Well, that's not it because that's not what they're telling. They're telling me that more occurred. Okay. Did you get out of your car and walk up to the window? I did. I got out of my car, walked up to the window, and I asked, "What is the problem? That it's taking so long for us to get a taco?" Okay. Were you yelling at the people in the drive-through? Yelling? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I was okay. asking. Okay. Um. So you, you don't recall raising your voice at them or anything? I don't think so. Okay. And I just asked them, why is it taking so long? As you can see, it's taking a long time yeah. to get a taco. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Uh, well, they may have large orders in front of you. That could be why, but I don't know. I, just... I understand. So, so we're what happened waiting. with these other two people that are also customers? What happened with them? I have no idea. Did you get into an altercation with them? 
Not to my awareness, no. Not to your awareness. Did you push anybody? No, I did not touch anybody. Is there any is there any reason why I, I did not touch Is there anybody. any reason why multiple people why, are saying why are multiple people saying you pushed I did not. Okay. Hey, I did not. I get, was just asking the people the window why is it taking so long? She wanna do anything for a taco. Oh. That's all I did. Okay. So here's the thing. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Crystal. So I just want to I just want to be honest with you, okay? Sure. Um, if, Richard Hush. If you're not telling me the truth, that's not gonna that's not gonna be a good thing. What's your name? My name is Deputy Moore. Okay. Hello, Deputy Moore. So if you're not telling me the truth, that's not gonna be a good thing for you. <laughs> did you push her? Yes or no? No. Okay. I did not touch any person. Do you know that there's video cameras on the side of this building? I don't care. I did not touch anybody. Okay. Good. So Go I just, look at the cameras. I, I, we intend to. Okay. All right. I'm a retired major in the that United does not States matter. Air Force. That does not matter. I am not lying. That I would not. not li what the hell so is So let me ask another on? question. Um, have you had anything to drink today? Yes. Perfect. Is it in the car? No. Why are people telling me that it's in the car? I don't know. There's no one in the car except my husband. Okay. Uh, what What were you drinking? Is it? Beers, I was downtown or? with my crew, my Mardi Gras crew. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I, I, uh, Jiminy Crimey. Okay. Basically, we've been here for a long time trying to get a taco. Sure. I got a little upset. I went up to the front and talked to the kids. It's like, why is it taking so long to get a taco? Mm -hmm. That's all I did. I didn't hit anyone. I didn't push anyone. I didn't do anything besides ask the guys why is it taking so long to get a taco and you don't remember how these other people got involved at all but they didn't like me um talking talking to the guy at the window temple and then what happened what do they say or do nothing besides be mean to me uh, how are they being mean to you i'm just asking because i wasn't here i'm just trying to understand the, the picture of what happened that's all This is absolutely silly. I was just like, um, it's taken us a long time. We've been here like almost an hour trying to get a taco. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. We're in line. My husband's, that's my car. Okay. I'm here just trying to get a taco. So these people are alleging a crime has occurred, so we're investigating that. What did I do? They're alleging that you pushed someone. I pushed someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that is definitely not true. I hope not. I hope that it's not true. That is definitely So true. we're going to find out if it happened or not, and then we'll go from there. Are you a policeman from Escambia? No, you're in Santa Rosa or County. Or Santa Rosa. Yeah, this is Santa Rosa County. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I have friends in Santa Rosa. Okay, excellent. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't pushed anyone. I hope not. I, I don't really understand do. what this is. I was we and he's still here. It's been an hour. We're just trying to get a taco. I understand. So it was. Okay. I did not push anyone. Um, also, I promise, I did not push anyone. Okay. I did not touch anyone. Okay. I promise that. I hope I'm not. a retired major in the Air Force, mm -hmm. and I did not <laughs> push. I don't understand why, but I'm standing here and taking it. Okay. Well, I'm I appreciate that. I'm taking what you want me to do. Right now, we're just waiting to find out uh, what the outcome is going to be. That's what my partner's doing. He's talking to folks who witnessed what happened and getting okay. their, their version, and then he's going to come let us know what's going on. I would like to see some time of anything that said I pushed someone. Okay. I didn't touch anyone. Okay. All right. Um, when my husband actually gets our food, am I allowed to leave? Not until we're finished, no. <laughs> okay. Sorry. We're trying to make this as quick as possible. But... Okay. But do you realize how silly this is? Well, if someone's alleging a crime occurred, it's not silly at all. A crime? Yes. What is the crime? I've already told you about three I pushed times. someone. Yeah. I did not push someone. Also, if but the... that's kind of silly, Also, too. if the employees tell us that you created a, a disturbance, then I might that have be... done that because I was trying to say, how long is it going to take to get a taco? Yeah. As a person, do you realize how silly that is? Do you have your ID in the car? Yes. Can we grab it real quick? I'll walk with you. Why? Let's grab your ID. No. You have to tell me your... You have to give me your I ID. I gave it to you. It's not coming back, so I need to see your actual ID. So Why? let's walk to your car. Walk to your car and give me your ID now. Go talk to my husband. No, I'm about to put you in handcuffs because you have to identify yourself because you're suspected of committing a crime. So <laughs> this is the last chance I'm going to ask you to get your driver's license. Yes! This is. Walk to your car now. Go talk to my husband. 
Go talk to my husband. I'm he has my ID. It's in the car. Let's go. <laughs> Richard. Get your ID for me this now. This man is manhandling me. Can you open the door, please, sir? So we he can get her ID. He is manhandling me. He is manhandling me. Grab Call Pierce. Grab your ID Call for me. Call Pierce. Grab right your ID now. for me. Sure. Give him my ID. I have no problem with that. Is that hers you're grabbing for me? Yes, he is. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's hers and mine. Okay, wonderful. We're going to be down here by my car, okay? Be careful. Let's go. Be careful. Yeah, Temple. I haven't done anything wrong. We're slow down that what way. Get out of here. I haven't done anything wrong. Okay. Besides have a problem that it took an hour to get a taco. I didn't push anyone. Okay. I didn't hurt anyone. Okay. I did nothing besides have a problem that took an hour to get a taco. Okay. Yeah, she's going to have a seat. What? You're being detained. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained. Give me what? Your... Relax. Who are you? Who are you? Don't talk to her. She... I don't know who she is. You don't need to worry about I've never you. seen that woman. What does it matter? Well, it matters. I no. Stop. No. Have a seat. You're about to catch another charge. You're, you're about to go to jail for sure. If Resist. you stop. Wait a minute. Resist obstructed. You don't go Wait, in this car. Wait. Let right my now. husband come to me. Sit down. Please Sit let my down. let my cousin let my husband come to me. Okay. Now you now let you, my husband. You're going to jail. Sit down now. Let my husband. Let my husband come. Let my husband come. What are you doing? Officers arrest 59-year-old Crystal Wagner, then find her husband secure with the taco. What's that, Mr. Wagner? How you doing? Um, I am so sorry for this I situation. I um, no, first of all, no, that's no, okay. No, no. Um, no, you have to do what you can do. We understand that. Okay. Uh, I've been in the military 30 years. That's, that's, I understand that. I, I saw, I yeah, appreciate your service, man, and, and hers as well. But she, did she, 20, she, yeah. she can't, what she did tonight was wrong, man. I know what she uh, did. I know, all I remember is she said, okay. I'm going to go talk to people. Well, she, she, she didn't abide by our lawful commands when we were trying to detain her okay. because she was getting irate. Uh, we're trying to get in her car just for her to cool down. She wouldn't get inside, man. We had to force to push her in. So she's being charged with resist at this point. Okay. So resist, disorderly conduct, because Taco Bell says she was yelling and disturbing their business, yeah. as well as there was an independent witness who doesn't relate, is not related to the, the female that she pushed. So she's being charged with, with battery as well. So that's... Uh, okay. I, I'm sorry, man. No, but it's, 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 okay. um, she, once she's out of jail... She's, she, she's not one of these countries. Okay, it's okay. okay. Uh, once she's out of... Once she's able, Released from jail, you, she'll give you a call. You can pick her up at Santa Rosa County Jail. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, I, I, again, man, I'm. This is not on on you. No, this no, is no, on no, her. It is, it is what it is. How much has she drank tonight? She was having a good time. We were having a party down there. Okay. All right. Um, do you want me to keep her military ID? I'll give it to her. Okay. Yeah, you. I was just getting a taco. Was it? Hey, can one of you guys bring me a couple written statement sheets? Or wait, no. Call Pierce. Call Pierce Baker, Santa Rosa Police. Santa Rosa Police. Call Pierce. Call Pierce Baker, Santa Rosa Police. Please. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just had. I want. I wanted them to. Oh my God. Oh my God. What are you, honey? I don't even know your name or what you are, but if we were just in line for a taco and it was taking forever, and that's all it was. That's all it was. It was like, why is it taking so long for a taco? And they called you and you <laughs> me in <laughs> handcuffs, which is kind of cool because I've never been in handcuffs. So that was kind of cool. But um, and, and you're you're doing your best to ignore me because. You've got some kind of, uh, I don't know, chip on your shoulder? What? What? Uh, no ma'am, I'm just trying to do my job. No. So, what did I do? What did I do? Um, uh, well, one. Tell me. You. What did I, do? I didn't touch anyone. You did not comply with our lawful commands to enter the vehicle. So that, that is resisting. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, maybe I did not do that. Sure, yeah, I would agree. Like 
No, I've never been arrested or anything like that. I'm a retired major in the United States Air Force. I don't understand this. I've never, never had this guy. I've never had this guy. I've never had any kind of problem. Uh, all it was was it was taking forever to get a taco. So I just went up to the window and it's like, you, you, how long is it going to get to get okay. a taco? And all of a sudden, I'm now in handcuffs. How does that happen? How does that happen, honey? The crystal stop it. That's all it was. It's like it's taking forever to get a taco. And then now you're putting me in handcuffs because I got upset because it took a while to get a taco. Crystal was charged with battery, disorderly intoxication, and resisting arrest. Court records could not be located to report the outcome of this case. Because I couldn't get a taco! Because I couldn't get a taco! So I want this all recorded. Right? Do you got that, Mr. Driver? Mr. Driver, you got that? I have asked for my lawyer, but I can't call him. Because you put me in handcuffs because I couldn't get a taco at Taco Bell. So, this is going to be a funny story on WER. Next up, Cobb County deputies respond to a complaint at a Burger King to find one of their own, Sheriff Craig Owens. Hey, man. Sheriff. Hey, do me a favor. I need to get, all I need is the owner name or whoever owns this damn facility or the manager. We ordered something, the food was wrong. He said, hey, can we fix it right? The guy said, well, we ordered. I said, that's not what we ordered. What are we doing? I said, well, can I get my number? No. I said, well, can you give me a manager name or a owner name so I can call them one? That's all I need. Okay, sir. I don't need no damn money back no more. I just need to find out who owns this place so I can do a physical complaint to complain. Okay, sir. Okay. All right. All I'm going to do is Eric wants the name of the manager or the owner so he can file a complaint. That's all. Manager and owner. Manager and owner. Uh, uh, it may be assistant manager now, but I don't know who he is, but he's just straight up. I'll get all the names I can. So it's like. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Hey, um, who's the manager on duty? That would be him. You a manager or assistant manager? I'm the assistant. Okay, is the manager here? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm the assistant manager. I, yeah, but is the but manager? The GM is not here, no. Okay. So nobody's in trouble. We just want to get some names, and then we'll be out of here here, okay? That's fine. All right. So what's your name, please? My name's Floyd. Huh? B-L-A. Mm -hmm. I-Y-N. I-Y-N? Yes, sir. And your last name? Uh, for now, I'll keep it at that, just because my interaction with Cobb County so far is... They Look, this, there's going to be no interaction with Cobb County at all. There isn't even going to be a report written. I get that. Okay. The guy out there, he's just going to file a complaint for his food. And that's totally fine. That's all. But past that, I'm not giving out information, just because I've had people stalk me for months, pull out guns, try to kill me. This area is not a great place to work. I don't give out my personal information to keep me safe. When I tell you I've had people follow me home, follow my truck, they've had they followed me around here for two months. And the last time I talked to Cobb with it, not you guys, not the Sheriff's Department, but regular Cobb County Police said told me to stop calling. You guys were providing a service so respectfully, in my opinion, and working with the police in the past couple months have has shot way down. So I'd like to keep it at that for right now. Are you worried about that guy? Uh, that guy, that guy or whoever. I mean I've had people follow us. We've about probably okay. four days ago, I pulled up again. What's the um, manager's name? Karen. Can you, Canales. Can you spell that? K A R E N. Uh -huh. Last name is C A N. Uh -huh. um, L E S. Or A L E S, sorry. A. C A N. Uh -huh. A L E S. A L E S. Yes, sir. And she's the manager? That's correct. Do you know who the, the general manager is or who owns the place? That's the general manager. GPS Hospitality owns the, the store. So, so. so who owns it? G G GPS Hospitality. Right.
Okay. And do you have um, Karen's phone number? Yep, I'm checking that just to make sure it works. Okay. That is correct, yeah. And you said it was GPS Hospitality that owns the... Um, the building? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, that was all I needed. Thank okay. you for your time. Have a good one. Have a good day. Yeah, I said okay, Mark, you were talking about, right? Oh, absolutely. So, it's an assistant manager working right now. He didn't want to give his last name, but his name was Blaine. The man the, did we get the manager's name? Yeah, the manager is Karen Canales. That's her phone number. Okay. And the people that own this place is GPS Hospitality. Okay, that's all I need. All right, sir. Appreciate you, man. Yep, no problem. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, he didn't want to give me his information. All he this wanted to give me was his first that's name. That's uh, the white male with the mustache? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he said he said he was he felt um, threatened that somebody was going to do something to him, so. like stalk him or something. It didn't help none. Did I, you, I, you didn't tell him who I was. Did no, I just okay. told him it was the guy out in the truck. Well, some believe this is an abuse of power. Sheriff Owens claimed it's a business dispute any citizen could make. There's been no further details released about the outcome of this incident at the time of this recording. Hello, are you there? Yes. You're at the McDonald's, you said? Yes. I guess our order was called, so our food was just hitting here. We never was aware of it. So when we came, the food was cold. We asked for a fresh set of food, um, and he touched the food, and I guess he got upset because I guess the fires were still kind of warm, warm to him. And he said, excuse me, sir, you need to leave or I'm going to call the cops. I said, I will call the cops myself. I haven't done anything wrong. I'll place my food. You don't snatch. The police are already on their way, okay? Yeah, now, Kennesaw police officers respond to a McDonald's to hear both sides of the story, beginning with the man with cold fries. What's up, man? Uh, we're the one they call. Okay, what's up? Uh, basically, we went in there, purchased some food. Um... I guess there's something wrong with their server. A lady right. before us tried to order on the little box thing. She okay. said that wasn't working. He had to stop us from ordering and go help her. Okay. So it's, he probably frustrated at work. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's the whole scenario. Okay. What I did. So why did y'all call? So like what uh, happened? Because we ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. So I okay. said, okay. So we sat down, me and my fiance, looking for homes around here. Gotcha. So we uh, went back to Progressive Rentals looking at homes. Uh -huh. um, I guess our order was called. But we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just ask him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get a fresh set? Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. This now. Sir, okay. I done paid. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I do a refund. I say, sir, with, with um, cash up card, it's three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. This is not my, my story. He told me you. this is his business. He owns this. And his, like, it's not that deep. We just okay. need the fries and the burger. Okay. So, break it down for me. What he, he, it's just that he's, and all his food is cold. Okay. Just burning in my hands, so whatever. That's okay. you know, not you know, doesn't really matter. Okay. Took the next level, starts cussing me. You better give me that fresh fries, mother. Mm -hmm. like, what? Here's a little old lady, and she mm -hmm. just came up to me and said, "If you need me, talk to the police." It's like, no, I, yeah, I got this. But he starts losing it, starts shoving his food at me. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Sorry." He said, "I said, well, but, but, tell you what, you can take your business elsewhere. Give me a card, give me a refund." No, I'm, you're not going to give me an effort refund. You're going to give me. A Food and my money back. Mm -hmm. so, okay, look, sir. I started shoving his food. I took his food. So he's got nothing to shove at me now because next thing you know, he's throwing mm -hmm. his drink at me. Mm -hmm. So I took his food, took it, well, just spread it, threw it in the trash. Here's your, your give me your card, I'll give you a refund, take your business elsewhere. Please don't come back. Okay. Scream at me, I want CT. You know, okay. it, it, Did you give him his refund? Like, is that all part? Yeah, he refused to. Okay. You're not going to give me a refund. Okay. Excuse my language. No, this is the way he was talking. Okay. So, I don't want to see Keith, I don't want to ever have him back. Okay. I mean, dude's obviously on probation, got an ankle bracelet on. Okay. The officer goes inside to inform Antoine on how the manager wants to proceed. All right, so here's the deal. As a business owner, he has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. 
He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As a business owner, he can do that. Okay. Um, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this no, McDonald's. I, I don't even stay here. I keep. It doesn't matter. He's requested it. We got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's a so piece you have of. To charge me? No, we're not charging. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, "Hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's." That's all it is. Wow. Like yeah. No, just like just realistically, did I do anything? I don't know. I, I'm not here to even figure that out. I'm here to. I'm here to keep the peace. Yeah, this is completely civil. So yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, no, I don't want to complain about it. Um, no, no. So I just, I'm just don't understand what I did wrong. No, you're good. Um, do you have CT forms? I just. Okay, I have CT forms. That's fine. Um, it's not a big deal. So look, all right. So this is civil, okay. As a business owner, he has the right to refuse service to anyone he chooses to refuse service to. Just like if you owned a business, you have the same right to do the same thing. Exactly. If you owned a physical business, like you didn't you have can a, have you, can CT, you can CT whoever the hell you want. You can do whatever. Yeah. As long as it's within the law, and that's within the law, okay? All right, so hang out with him. I'm going to get that form. It's a simple form that says, hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's. Now, I'll tell you, if you do come back to this McDonald's and oh, we no, get I'm caught not, out here, no, no, no. you go to jail. I'm not. All right? I'm not. I, I got a smart. So... Um, you cool with the refund? Uh, yeah, so okay. I just gotta go in there and tap my car. Yeah, I will get that in just a second, okay? Okay. While I'm putting Antoine's last name through the law enforcement database, an alert pops up. License status. Suspended. 24-year-old male. Wanted person. Caution. Violence. Armed and dangerous. All right, Mr. Sims, come over here. I'm going to have you sign this. I'm not under arrest or anything, am I? No, sir. Huh? Just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest or anything. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you're not going to come back to the property. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Will you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? I've three years, sir. I'm afraid of All right, you, I'm I'm gonna walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm doing afraid. that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill. Am I All right? right? Yeah. Come on. No, let's me here. Car, 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 car. Six two Kennesaw. Car, cop. Police chased the fugitive for 20 minutes before locating him in a nearby apartment complex. Got him! Contact! Contact! Backside! Backside! Do not move! Do not move! Give me contact! Oh God, I got my mama! Pictures and send you back! I got my mama! Take the blood for it! Antoine is charged with hindering law enforcement, criminal trespass, and intent to distribute. Prosecutors declined to pursue these charges since Antoine's held in custody on a murder charge. Antoine's convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. Next, we're heading to Ravenna, Ohio, where a woman's unique slushy order leads to the ultimate meltdown. 45-year-old Cherise Helena Cleveland walks into a local McDonald's hoping to quench her thirst with all three slushy flavors mixed together in one singular cup. When McDonald's employees tell Cherise they won't be able to fulfill her order, Cleveland goes behind the counter and takes matters into her own hands. After allegedly striking the fast food employee twice, Cleveland does a 180 and starts expressing her remorse. Tempers end up cooling off for the time being. With her thirst unquenched, Cleveland fills up her cup with ice and soda and then decides to assault the employees again. The fed up McDonald's employees wrestle Cleveland down to the ground. After getting off the floor, Cleveland insists the McDonald's employees call the police on her. And they do just that. Cleveland was taken into custody. Cleveland was charged with two counts of misdemeanor first degree assault. She later pleaded guilty to one of the counts of assault and has since been permanently banned from all Portage County McDonald's. 
We end today's episode of After Hours in where else but Florida, where a woman pulls a gun on employees refusing to give her a cookie she believes she's entitled to. The staff calls the police department and officers track down the suspect's car. Stay right there. Okay. Exit the car. Hands. Exit the car. What? Exit the car. Out of the car! Put it in park! Who are you yelling at? Who are you yelling at? Right here. Hands on the hood. Hands on the hood. Do you have a gun? Hey, but hands on the hood! Stop arguing! Hands on the hood! Hands on the hood! My hands is on the hood! Why have to put my hands on the hood? Am I arrested? You're being detained. How? Look, see what they're doing to me, bitch? In front of Zoe's kitchen. Hurry up. You see what they're doing? According to the police report, 24-year-old Amari Hendricks got into the restaurant after pulling the gun to assault one of the male workers. Why y'all doing all this? Why cost for all these cops? Because they said you shot a gun over there. Huh? There we go. There you go. Don't talk. You just came here. Why you get all hostile? Hello? I'm on the car. I'm on the car. You don't have to put me in the car. Just put her in the car. No, you don't have to put me in the car. You don't have to. Let me get my hey, Do not pull away from him. I'm not pulling away from him. Let's fight. Let's fight. What is you doing? Yeah. What is you doing? Why you almost broke my arm? That's a lawsuit. You're pulling away from him. Just listen to what he's saying. I'm not pulling away from him. I, I watched you do it. I watched you do it. Just keep her in the car. Goodbye. Amari was charged with improper exhibition of a firearm, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and battery. She pleaded no contest to the charges and was sentenced to 12 months of community service and $1,885 in court fees. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Law and Crime After Hours is researched, it's written, and it's produced by Jordan Chacon. Video editing is done by the lead editor, Mikey Dininger. I'm Sam Goldberg. We'll see you next week. And you me in handcuffs, which is kind of cool because I've never been in handcuffs, so that's kind of cool.